Hi friends, hope you are fine. In this video, let us understand protein kinase R structure, function and pathways within 5 to 10 minutes. Protein kinase R or PKR is an interferon induced double stranded RNA activated protein kinase enzyme present in vertebrate cells. It is absent in plants, fungus and other invertebrates. Now let us see why this is called as PKR or protein kinase R. Kinase means an enzyme that adds phosphate to other molecules like sugars and proteins. Or simply, a kinase enzyme is an enzyme that is involved in phosphorylation or addition of phosphate. Then R stands for RNA activated enzyme. So this enzyme is a double stranded RNA activated enzyme. Therefore, this enzyme is called as PKR or protein kinase R. Now let us see the functions of PKR. PKR has diverse functions. It is involved in the regulation of transcription, translation. It is involved in innate immune response, especially antiviral response, involved in apoptosis or programmed cell death and cell division. This regulation of PKR is associated with metabolic disorders, neurodegeneration and also cancer. PKR is an enzyme that regulates critical functions inside the system, therefore considered as a promising clinical target. Now let us see the structure of the protein. PKR is also called as eukaryotic translation initiation factor 2 alpha kinase 2 or EIF2 AK2. So this is the structure of PKR. This is coded on human chromosome number 2 and that is encoded by EIF2AK2 gene. The structure is, it is a serine threonine protein kinase. That means it phosphorylates the hydroxyl group of amino acids serine or threonine. It has an N-terminal double-stranded RNA binding domain. Then a C-terminal kinase domain that phosphorylates other proteins and finally induces apoptosis or programmed cell death of a viral infected cell. Now let us see the PKR activators. PKR is primarily activated by double stranded RNA from viral infection. Recent studies suggest that stress conditions activates PKR, cytokines can activate PKR other than viral pathogens, bacterial infections, especially lipopolysaccharides of bacteria can also activate PKR. Now let us see three important pathways mediated by PKR. First, let us understand the structure of PKR. PKR is having an RNA binding domain. This is double stranded RNA binding domain. Then there is a kinase domain. Kinase domain is involved in phosphorylation. So this is constitute PKR. Upon viral infection, virus injects its DNA or RNA. Viral RNA is inside the cell. Interferons are activated as a result of Antiviral response, interferons are proteins, antiviral proteins that is produced by cells in defense of viral infection. This interferons activates this PKR causing its dimerization and autophosphorylation. So this viral RNA that is bounded to this domain, RNA binding domain of PKR, this activates the protein to dimerize and finally, it gets phosphorylated or autophosphorylation. So this is an active PKR. Then there is eukaryotic translation initiation factor 2 alpha, which is in inactive stage. Then this is activated by phosphorylation by this PKR. So this active translation initiation factor 2 alpha can inhibit protein synthesis. It's actually a protein that is involved in regulation or mRNA translation regulation. It acts as a rate limiting step controlling or regulating mRNA translation. So phosphorylation of this translation initiation factor 2 alpha by this PKR inhibits protein synthesis thereby inhibits viral replication. Ultimately this viral infected cell undergoes apoptosis. So this is pathway number one. Then PKR can independently act without this EAF2 alpha. Phosphorylated PKR can activate FAD, which is FAS-associated protein with death domain. 
then that can further activate caspase 8 which is an apoptosis inducer or initiator that causes apoptosis or programmed cell death. The third pathway is this phosphorylated PKR can phosphorylate I kappa B subunits that is alpha and beta subunits and this further phosphorylates NF kappa B. NF kappa B is a transcription factor. Phosphorylation causes its translocation from cytoplasm to the nucleus and NF kappa B is a transcription factor that causes expression of genes involved in inflammation. So this pathway leads to inflammation that is initiated by I kappa B and activation of NF kappa B by I kappa B as a result of phosphorylation by PKR. This PKR is also involved in metabolism throughout the body and increased phosphorylation of EIF2 alpha is a hallmark of obesity and diabetes related insulin resistance. So a number of pathways are regulated and controlled by PKR. And that is it about PKR. Thank you so much for your attention. Take care. Stay blessed. You are with biologyexamsforyou.com.